Hello and welcome. This is Phil with Authors Insider Club. And in today's video, I'm going to answer a question we had from Paulo here on the blog in regards to citations and footnotes. Now, first of all, I have this blog post that I'm showing you right here from last year about how you can create citations and footnotes on the Kindle. So if you haven't gotten to that point yet, if you haven't actually created those, make sure and uh, read this post and you'll see how to do it. Paulo actually asked a great question. He wants to take it one step further. So he wants to actually link from the footnote back to where they were reading. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that in this video. So here we have our Kindle template and I just created three sample citations and footnotes. So if I click on like the number two, it takes us to a page that has our footnote number two. And I have them all three in a row. So these are already done. So one, two, and three. So this is how it normally works. If somebody clicks on a citation and it'll take them directly to the footnote. And that's what I've showed you how to do in that previous blog post. Now, what I'm gonna do is show you how to take them back to where they were reading before. So for example, Let's just do this with one. Let's do this with footnote number two, okay? So what you can do next to the footnote is you can create some text right here. You can have it say whatever you want. You can say, like in this example, I just typed in, click here to go back. You could just have it say something like back or return to where you were reading. Whatever. You can have it say whatever you want. You could have it be really wordy or just have one word. It, it's totally up to you. And what we're going to do now is just basically reverse the process um, of creating citations and footnotes. So now this is almost like a citation um, and the citation up here is almost like a footnote. So what we need to do, we're going to do that with just this one example for the number two. So now what we need to do is right here at the footnote number two at the start of it, I'm just going to put my mouse there and click insert bookmark. Now we need to name this and we could call it anything we wanted. The only important thing is you just want to remember what you called it because you're going to have to type this in in the next step. So I'm, I'm just going to say something like um, return two because it's uh, citation and footnote number two so I'll just type in return to and click add so now we've just set a bookmark for right here called return to so now we're gonna go down to footnote two and right here is the text that we typed in that we want to be clickable so I'm just going to click insert and then hyperlink and then we're gonna type where it says anchor right here. We're going to type in exactly what we named that bookmark, which was return to and click OK. So now let me start at the front here. So let's say somebody's reading your book and they see this footnote, you know, the citation to footnote number two, they click it, boom, here they are reading footnote number two. And now they see, oh, I can return to where I was reading. And now when they click on that, boom, it takes them right back up to where they're reading. So that is how you can have people return back to where they were reading after clicking on the citations and footnotes.